Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to Naruto War of Shinobi. Now I knew this day was coming and I was afraid of it since the very beginning, but I knew eventually I would have to use a Puppet Master and figure out how they ag actually work on this game. I was hoping Gara was next in the lineup, but I'm pretty sure Konkuro is. I could do it either way, uh, either way I want, but oh, I think Konkuro, I might as well just get it over with. Um, I went to, let me show you something first, actually. I went to, um, I think it was training and took a look at this before starting because I knew it was going to be something different, like difficult. Um, this is going to be one of the shorter episodes. Uh, this and the saucery one probably might be like the shortest episodes ever because puppet masters are ridiculous. Like... Their controls are so backwards. Um, for for example, um, usually when I hold this button down, it's like the jutsu button, and then some directionals. You can do some directionals, uh, but on Konkuro it does nothing. And then like I can't remember what button I pressed, but one of them brought Sasori out, and like now now I've got Ant out, and the controls are all backwards. I, I, look at this. I don't even know how to make Ant move. I'm pressing the buttons. How do I move this thing? So that's his basic attack. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't do much. So now Saucery's out. Watch this. His buttons are so backwards. Um, like, X and Y. Let's see. Let's. That's backwards. Up and down are triangle. Oh god, you can't see it. Up and down are triangle square. And then backwards is like R2. And then down, try to make him go down. Triangle, now try to make him go back. Nope, that's forward. Like, it's ridiculous the buttons you have to press to control these things. Try it yourself. Um, it's a nightmare. <laughs> If you can even find where to download the game anymore. Um, <laughs> I wish I could host it, but unfortunately I, I don't own a website that could host it. And I'm not, I'm not doing like a Wix thing. I can't pay a monthly fee to let, uh, to, to get, try to help people download games that like m were once on the internet. Um, as soon as I finish all the characters, uh, I'll be switching games and whatnot, but... Yeah, for now, I'm just going to figure out <laughs> how to get through these Puppet Masters. Also, because of the weird jankety controls, I put the game on the easiest difficulty setting so that I don't have to worry about, like, a ridiculous amount of just tomfoolery. Because that's just his basic attack. I literally don't know how to do anything else with him right now. Okay, that's Ant. I don't know how I got that to come down. Come on, do something. Oh, God. So that, that summons puppets, but normally that button doesn't do anything. Oh, and now I've got Crow out. How do I make it attack? And now I just can't figure out how to make it attack. Okay, hold on. That's X, so go forward. Go, go forward. Forward. Okay, there's forward, then X. There we go. Now what does circle do? That's up, down, up and down. Okay. I just now I gotta go at him again. Forward, forward. Oh, I'm on salamander, so I'm protected. Okay, then let's just go ham on him with crow. And I'll try to activate my. Wait, where am I? Oh god, I got off of salamander. Shoot. Forward, for, for, for. Go forward. Oh, I'm down. Shoot. Down, down. Forward, forward. Ah, uh, every time I get knocked down, he gets knocked down. See, see what I mean? Not good. God bless America. 
I am pressing so many buttons, trying to do so many things. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in ant. St stuck in it. Stuck. Stuck in it. Why do I keep falling down? Oh god. Oh, okay. I'm back on Salamander again. Can I do anything from here? Uh, looks like I have a time limit on Salamander. I can't move. Can I? Oh, and I'm back on him again. So I can jump off, and then I can jump back on. Oh, it's not a time limit. It's an amount of damage he's taken. Every time I would have taken damage, Salamander takes the damage for me. But I can't... I can't move unless I get off of it. What am I doing? What the... I can't tell whether I'm fighting the clone or... Okay. No, he keeps falling down. X used to be attack. Now it's... He just falls down. He plays dead. This is bad. Do something. Do anything. Stop! He won't do anything but... Is it because I didn't have enough chakra? Let's charge some chakra and see what happens. I mean, he's pretty distracted. Alright, let's try some stuff. Uh, oh, I'm gonna try to get back on Salamander. Nope, nope, jump back. Jump into the salamander. Hey! I got in it just in time, and it's broken. I just want to make it through a couple of fights. Aw, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Puppet Masters, woof, do not work in these games. Unless you have specific controls for them. Like, you would have to change your entire conscr uh, cons conscroll. You would have to change your entire control scheme setup for the Puppet Master you're using, and then change it back whenever you're done, I guess. Okay, so there's that physical attack. That's good. But that one has to connect. This one was with the puppets. That's his physical attack. Okay, maybe just directionals. Physical attack and directionals. Maybe that's working. Okay. And I've already got full chakra, so... Ooh, what happens if I catch him with Ant when I bring it down like that? Uh-oh, okay, he got me in the sexy jutsu. Now I can press R2 to just bring out a puppet, correct? Of course, I gotta get this... Okay, R2. Nope. I gotta get him, I gotta push him back. I want distance. Down doesn't do anything. How did I do that? I just pressed R2. Is it because I pressed R2 and down? Oh god, now I gotta get... I gotta get Saucery over to him. I don't think I'm gonna have the chance. I'm gonna try to get in Salamander. I'm in Salamander. Now, I'm gonna focus on just Saucery. Down, and then attack. Down, forward. No, go forward. There we go. Now I'm right behind him. Yes! Okay. So what happens if I... No. He's... It's difficult. It's very difficult to control. Forward. Salamander might be about to break. I gotta get this kid off of me. I basically only know that one move. Uh-oh. I think... I think Sussery is down. Oh! I ran out of Chakra! Right! Okay, so to operate the puppets, I have to have Chakra. I have to continuously charge Chakra in order to operate the puppets. 
Did I win? Oh my god, I won. <laughs> that is... Woof. Ha! <laughs> it's an elevator. That's great. Oh, god, I hate it so much. Okay, so... Down and R2? Okay. What about up and R2? Careful. Stay inside Salamander for that. Now... Can I... Oh, I can't charge Chakra while in Salamander. And my Chakra continuously goes down while I'm in Salamander as well. But Salamander does provide block for me. Like, the enemy will actually get trapped behind... So I can... Oh, hey, now I can move it. It looks like you have to hold down the movement button in order to move with Salamander. And you have to continuously have Chakra or he'll stop moving. Let's see what happens when I run out of... Yep, when I, when I run out of Chakra, Salamander can no longer move. And I cannot charge Chakra while in Salamander, so I have to hit the up button, jump back out, use Salamander as a shield in order to charge Chakra. See how complicated this crap is? This is why I can't make a full episode on this. But, but we're learning. We're learning. Sometimes that's the process. Okay, now I need some more chakra, because that's the only way I can apparently operate my puppets. Nice, we both threw, uh, exploding kunai. Now I'm gonna try to summon sorcery with down R2. I don't know if I need a certain number of cha uh, chakra stocks or what, but I'm gonna give it a try. But first, I need to knock Konkuro ba or I need to knock Konohamaru back with some distance. I need to get distance. Let's try back and circle or back B for a paper bomb. Okay, down R2. Nothing. Regular R2. R3. Summon something. Okay. I did not memorize what the what, what the heck that was. Oh god. Okay, he's coming up on me. I want to hit him with, uh, Crow. I'm basically just using the attack button to move Crow forward at this point. Oh, down in directionals operates different attacks. But now i got to get Crow back to him. Made to make sure to charge Chakra. Probably want to get behind Salamander. I don't know where Crow is right now. I want, him, I want to get him to come down. What was down again? Triangle. Yep. Okay, let's try. Oh, God, I brought him to me. Ah, oh, shoot. Forward, forward, R2. X and forward activates that attack. X and down activates a different attack. A X and back activates this attack, which poisons them. X and forward. X and up. Okay. And uh, on a proper Xbox controller, that would be A, I believe? Oh, Conqueror uh, and Konohamaru's going nuts. I'm going to drop back in Salamander, get some distance by holding the charge button. Or by holding the directional button. Jump back out. Oh. Oh. Got to jump out and back. Charge Chakra. Now Crow is still in the air. I got to press square to get him down, I believe. Nope, that's back. Triangle. Square for back. Oh. Oh, no. Careful. If you press the wrong button, try to activate crazy attacks. Down, forward, then your puppet will just go into places. Oh god. Now I'm gonna go back to Conqueror, drop back for a bit. Hey, I, I found out how to make Salamander use his flamethrower. Up. Oh. I think that was R1 and forward. Let's try it again. R1 forward. Nope, that's Ant. Nice! Jesus. It's so crazy. The controls are ridiculous. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think we're going to go for about eh, 20 minutes. We'll, we'll figure this out. Just having a little fun with it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get past Tintin, though, because with her range, she's going to be able to attack me from anywhere. So, having my puppets, like, distract her and block for me might not be very effective. Uh, I'm trying to summon. Oh, see that? That's that's my main problem right there. Let's try for a physical attack. Okay, I made it through most of her attack.
Okay, I'm using directional buttons in line with my attacking in order to use different styles of attacks. Right now, I'm just keeping her in a corner. Now I've got some chakras, so I'm going to try... Oh, hey, I sub. That's good. Summon, sub. I was trying to jump into Salamander to avoid those, uh, you know, projectiles. Now I'm in Salamander. I've got chakras, so I can back away. Now she's going to stay on me unless I activate something to drop her off. Like, to, to push her off. I want to use the flamethrower, but I'm pressing the buttons and it's not... Oh, there we go! Okay, so how was that? How did I do that? Let's try it again. I can't charge. Okay, now she's activating her ability. Will I be immune to that in Salamander? But not since it's a down move. Okay, I need more chakra. Gotta jump out. Let, let me out. Okay, I'm gonna use my paper bomb to try to get some distance. Jump back, charge chakra. Yeah, I could pretty much only do this on the easiest difficulty. Because of how much you have to, like, anticipate, like, there's just so much thought involved, like, with how you have to do this. Okay. It looks like he uses different moves based on the, bit different move, different moves based on the amount of chakra you have. That's awesome. Jump back in that, avoid her entire attack. Okay, down and back is a poison bomb from Ant. Down and forward. That was like forward up, double down. I don't. I might not have enough chakra. Okay, paper bomb, charge chakra, paper bomb. Nice. <laughs> well, <laughs> if I learn what I'm doing, I might beat the easiest difficulty. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's it might be tougher than it looks. Give it a shot, you know. Try it for yourself. See what you think. For me, I'm I'm just this is rough. Okay, drop back. Can I summon Salamander or do I need I'm still trying. Still haven't mastered that yet. It's R2 and something, but every time it seems different. Get in Salamander. I'm going to move up a little bit. Okay, so I'm not sure. Was that the poison bomb? Oh, nope. Hey, flamethrower! I'm basically just R. Oh, I need more chopper. Oop, I got you now. You got me now. Nice trap. Good trap setup. I'm stuck in it. Hey, I, I moved Salamander remotely. Without being in Salamander. How did I do that? Okay, whoop. I mean, you could just press random buttons, but it looks like it's actually more beneficial to learn at least most of what you're doing. Uh, I need a paper bomb to get some distance. Uh-oh, do I not have... No, I've got four. Got to quit missing, that's one thing. Okay, let me out. There we go, there's the distance. Ah. Let's see if I can hit her in the smoke, get us out of this. Okay, there we've got something. Unfortunately, I'm really low on chakra, so... Ah, Ant blocks some projectiles as long as he's in front of me. Oh, and it looks like if I hold the directional button, I can move Salamander in on her. But I don't know how to activate his abilities. Okay, I've got... Oh, God, I've got Ant summoned. Can I attack from inside Salamander? Yes, I can! Yes. Okay, uh, forward is square. Up is triangle. X is attack, and then directionals. Yes! <laughs> oh, boy. I, I know I started out this episode saying I couldn't do it, but... I don't know. Maybe I could do it on the medium difficulty, but wow, the, the controls are just... Yeah, we're done. <laughs> Pack it in. <laughs> Whew. I should have got some water. Now I'm thirsty. Oh, what am I doing not paying attention while Lee's on the field? That is a big mistake. Dope, dope, dope. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to hit him with a paper bomb. Get me out of this smoke. Oh, that was lucky. No, no, down. Okay, and then X's attack, I think. Shoot. I need Salamander. I want to go hide. I'm just using basic attack. Okay, now forward. Oh, no. Square is forward. And then forward and attack. Square. Hold him in a corner. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm wall gaming him. If he doesn't... Uh-oh. Oh. Yes. R2 to move in that direction. Okay, oh, that's backwards. Careful, don't press random buttons. I have to remember. Square, triangle, and R2 control Saucery. The D-pad controls me, and I need constant chakra in order to control Saucery and make him do anything. And now I have my other puppets. Jump in Salamander, see if you can control Saucery while in Salamander. Uh, I can, but I'm out of chakra, so now all my puppets are either down or inoperable. So Salam um, Salamander's gonna stay put, and Saucery's just gonna keep falling over until I charge chakra. I've got chakra now. Saucery, get back up, and attack. Yes! As long as I've got chakra, it's... Oh! Uh-oh! There we go. Okay, I can activate, I can activate his flamethrowers with R1 forward and chakra. R1 forward chakra. Whoa, that was different. There it is. Yes. Yes, we're doing the things. You have no idea how complicated this is. <laughs> and I have to watch my chakra and know where Salamander and Saucery are and everything else. And then, of course, Lee teleports. So, my life. Am I right? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, f f forward, forward, forward. Uh, is triangle, triangle, triangle. Saucery, are you still up? Oh, he's not. Uh-oh. Saucery's out. Where is he? I think he was on this side of the arena. I think he's out. What? <laughs> I didn't realize his health was that low. Basic punch. Okay. Uh. Does Saucery have a timer? I didn't see where he went or why. That was different. I don't know what I did for that. Don't know what I did for that. Why is it that every time I use a paper bomb, they're either jumping or not in the way of it? I need chakra. Back off. I'm out of paper bombs. Just short. Summon a puppet. I'm trying. There it is. Okay, so I've got salamander and ant. I've got Chakra. Let's try something. Yes, yeah, Saucery! Oh, wait. Four. Oh, God. Running out of Chakra. Whoa! Saucery teleports. Oh, God. I'm just X. Just pressing X. Like, the basics is hard enough to remember. Okay, so... I need to go up. So... Uh, it was Triangle. Why is it not... Nope. Down is... Oh, never mind. Uh, now I have to come out of... Ant, or have to come out of Salamander and charge Chakra. Thank God he is attacking Saucery. Saucery's back up now. Woo! I can hold him here? Now what do I do? Uh, I'm just gonna hold him while I charge Chakra. Yes! And it's continuously poisoning him! Hey, hey! And I don't know if he's gonna get out of that. Okay, so Saucery does have a damage counter. Looks like it's 591 with Salamander at 493. Oh, Chakra is full. That's what it does when it's full. So R1 forward. Okay, I need to come down. So triangle. Nope. Triangle. Now try it again. Uh, R1 forward. Yes! Do it again. Oh, that's great. That's great. Oh, it released him, though. It released him, though. Oh, wait. Circle teleports him to me? Whoa, I was not expecting that. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, I need to drop out of... Get out of Salamander. Charge Chakra. I wish I could charge Chakra inside of Salamander, but... That would be way too cheap. Whew. This is like a tutorial on how to use Conqueror. Like, if you're... Controls are set up like mine, which maybe I can go over that in a different video. 
the default though fuck that the defaults on keyboard <laughs> uh uh not doing that that's gonna be a nay nay uh, last fight and then we're gonna call it whether I win or lose I don't want to get this too complicated I am already at my maximum for like st stress <laughs> it's like trying to memorize all this different crap and having no barely any idea what I'm doing uh, summon puppet oh is it I'm gonna I'm gonna try to memorize it this time it's got to be r2 down r2 down yes it's r2 down down in r2 now what? Just a bunch of directions. Oh, hold it. Yes, the maximum flamethrower. Ah, uh, and of course it didn't hit. Now I gotta drop out to get Chakra again. Drop, drop back. Let me out. See, it's nice when they're trapped behind Salamander. Because they tend not to go in front of it. I'm talking too much. And I haven't had enough to eat today. I'm lightheaded. Already. I need calories. I haven't eaten. It's bad. It's bad for business. Okay. Uh, R1. Forward. R1 down forward. Oh, sh Nice! I deserve that. I was standing right there. I'm gonna hold back for block, but I don't think it's gonna save me. If I'm lucky, maybe I can jump into Salamander. No, it's a cutscene. Uh. Nice. Oh, nice. I summon ant. Uh-oh. Jump into salamander. But it's a cutscene though. I don't think I can move. I'm going to press X and try to back up. Oh my god, it worked. Uh, oh, just don't be anywhere near him. There. I was trying to land in salamander. It wasn't working. He is going to keep activating that and getting stuck in front of Salamander, so I'm going to drop behind Salamander and just keep charging Chakra. Because he is obviously, yeah, he's in his own little world right now. So, uh, yeah, he's still doing it. He's still, he's still doing it. Uh, R1 forward, triangle, and then R1 forward X. See what that does. Okay. Holy God. Okay, so I have to hit X plus directional buttons to do anything better than the basic attacks. He's facing in that direction. I'm way over here, so I'm just going to charge. Uh, looks like Crow is actually not taking damage. 999 versus 993. Uh, oh, it looks like Salamander and Ant. Uh, of course, um, I should probably point to these. If you watch the series, you know who they are, but... Salamander, the giant freaking salamander thing, and Ant, this guy right next to me, it looks like they share a damage counter at 993. They do not appear to be taking damage. Crow, this guy right here, does appear to be taking some damage. 982. Oh, chakra's full. So... Whoa! I don't want to teleport him too much. I think that uses a lot of chakra. Oh, God. Whoa! Nice. Down. And X. Down and X. Okay. Practice, practice. Try. Nope. That wasn't it. Square for up. No. Oh, God. It's circle for up. That's so bad. No. Um, Circle is up on south. Oh, God. Oh, God. My brain is... Uh, Crow and Saucery's controls are reversed. Oh, f*** that. F*** that. Oh my god. So with Saucery, up is like square. And with Ant, up is like circle. X is attack on both of them, but square and circle or triangle. Oh my god. I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm just, I'm, oh god, my brain. My brain, I'm, this is giving me the, this is, this is giving me cancer, this is cancer. This is bad. This is bad. I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't mean to offend anyone out there. This is bad. I don't like it, I'm just gonna wall game him. I'm just gonna put him in the wall. 
Oh god. They're they're opposite. Uh I'm gonna have nightmares about that. I'm trying to catch up right now, just getting chakra. Down oh god, my cursor. Ah sorry. Ah! Down R2 for summon. I get Ant and Salamander for that one. Now if I just Okay. Uh, oh god, I got out of it. Okay, that's a good one. Let's charge while he's in stuck in that. Woo! That was lucky. Oh god. Now I'm okay, I'm in sorcery controls. I tried to throw a kunai bomb and sorcery just floated upwards instead. So now I have to remember I'm in sorcery controls. Um I'm not trying to go up or forward at this moment. I'm literally just trying to attack. That's it. Okay, go. So if ant and sorcery are opposite, so square is up. Nope, square is forward. Fuck my life. Square is forward on sorcery. It's up on ant. Oh my god. No, this. I'm just uh, no, I'm just melee attacking him. G okay. Up is trying. Nope, up is not triangle. Up and down, up and down. Uh, up is circle, triangle is down, which on the controls, that's... Oh my god, that's annoying. Square for forward, X for attack. Screw the rest of it. I hate you. I hate you so much. Up, forward. Forward. Ne down. Attack. Attack. To heck with the rest of it. And I'm out of chakra. Drop out. Do I have paper bombs? Oh god, no, I'm still locked in sorcery. I can't throw paper bombs. I'm out anyway. Attack! Drop back. Use them as a human shield! Forget the rest of it. Oh my god. Oh, that gives me a headache. I'm not gonna say that's cancer because that's actually offensive. That's migraine. Mm, my brain. No. Nope, 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 no mirror matches. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not doing it. <laughs> we are not, uh uh, no. Nope. So now you know how to use Conqueror. Uh, find a control setup scheme that you are comfortable with. If you're comfortable on the keyboard, excellent. If you're comfortable, if you're comfortable on a controller, Excellent. Find a setup scheme that you are comfortable with. Let me just exit this. And then figure out what that's all about. Just know that the puppets are all different. And they're all different from the regular characters. And it's the most complicated, convoluted crap you've ever heard of. And I want nothing else to do with it. I will play Saucery. And I will try to learn him just like I did Conqueror. I think I did pretty darn good, though considering the circumstances. Now on Storm, like Ultimate, like Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 1, Storm 2, Storm 3, Storm 4, Sasori is in all of them, Granny Chio is not in all of them, Konkuro is in all of them, but yeah, the Puppet Masters on the Storm games, they're just fine. On 2D, I haven't seen a system where it really works out, at least that I don't like it. Like, uh-uh, I'm not dealing with that. I'm just not. It's like, you know that moment where Markiplier played getting over it with Bennett Foddy and he reached his limit at a certain point and then pa and then went further beyond to surpass his limit? <laughs> I'm at my limit. I, I have surpassed my limit. I had fun. It was wonderful. I'm not dealing with that bullshit anymore. Anyway, that's all the time I have left for Conquero. Not doing that again. I hope you enjoyed this episode or found it at least a little bit informative. And until next time, look forward to the next one. I will see you next time. There's more series coming to the channel. I've got two new series planned for the channel, including Hogwarts Legacy and Kingdom Come Deliverance. So we're getting sort of a fantasy medieval feel for the channel for this year. Obviously, I know it's February, so the year has already begun, but it's going to be throughout the year. So you'll enjoy that, I hope. That's going to be our theme for the year. Uh, there's new content, new stuff coming up for the channel. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed yet, consider it. It's free, only takes two clicks, and it doesn't cost you a penny. Anyway, that's all the time I have left for this video. Check out my guy, Mike the Shooter. He plays Call of Duty Warzone, Call of Duty Warzone 2, 
And uh, Search and Destroy. And, um, oh, and Apex Legend on mobile. Apex Legend mobile. So check him out. Um, uh, he is in my community tab. I know I'll say I'll add, add a description in the, I'll add a link in the description below, but I always freaking forget. <laughs> but uh, check him out. He's in the community tab. And until next time, take it easy, my friends. I've got a lot more videos to do, so i got to call it on this one. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.